going to learn a really important skill. And like really important, like you're going to impress all your friends because you'll be like, oh my goodness, I can't believe you know how to shift the index in a power series. You'll be like, man, it's nothing. I got this down. So basically the idea is what if we had something like this? It was n equals 0 to infinity a sub n x to the n plus 1. And we're like, man, you know, I wish that instead of x to the n plus 1, it actually said x to the n. That's no problem. But if we go ahead and we write this out, we would have a 0 x to the first, a1, x squared, a2, x cubed, and so on. Well, something that we can do is, I'm just going to rewrite it out so we have something to play with. It's actually relatively straightforward, is that if I wish that all of these n's were, or n plus 1's were actually n's, then I can just say, well, I'm going to subtract 1 off of all the n's here, and then I'm going to add 1 to all the n's here. Now, normally I'd add 1 here, but infinity plus 1 is still just infinity, so who cares? So that means I can rewrite it. So I'm going to subtract 1 here and add 1 here, and if you don't believe me, hopefully you will right now. So I'm going to have a sub n minus 1 x to the n. So if I have n equals 1, now instead of my um, thingy starting at n equals 0, it starts at n equals 1. So a 1 minus 1 is 0, x to the first. Now I'm at 2, 2 minus 1 is 1, x squared, and I get the exact same thing. So nothing has changed. The only thing that has changed that is instead of having a summation on x to the n plus 1, I have a summation on x to the n. This can be important. Something else that you can do, and it's not exactly shifting the index, but I mean, maybe. So let's pretend that I had this guy again, or something similar. Let's just pretend I had a to the n, or a sub n, x to the n. And for some reason, I'm like, I really, 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 really wish that it started at, I wish it was starting at n equals 1. But I really like the xn too, so I like to keep the xn, but I really want it to start at x or n equals 1. This really isn't a big deal at all, because what I can do is I can just pull out the n equals 0 term, and then I'm just left with the n equals 1 to infinity term, because I'm just going to write the n equals 0 term out separately. So I could say that n equals 0 to infinity of a and xm is just as easily equal to a sub 0 x to the 0 plus the summation of n equals 1 to infinity a n xn, or a naught plus the summation n equals 1 to infinity a n xn. You might say, well, why in heaven's name would I care about doing any of this? Well, because one day you might be adding power series together. So let's say you had a power series where you had n equals 0 to infinity a n times x to the n plus 2, like that. And then I had plus summation n equals 0 to infinity of bn, x, n. Something along those lines. And I really wanted to be able to combine them. So, I mean, I guess I could. I could combine them like this and send n equals 0 to infinity, a n, x, n plus 2, 10 plus b, n, x, n, done. And you're like, well, I guess, but that's not really that helpful because these things could be written much prettier. So this is not the way that I want to go. What I want to do is ultimately I want to have something that looks like some kind of a summation with maybe some stuff out front that starts somewhere and ends in infinity, but it's got all of the x ends together. So basically I could look at it and I could say, okay, at any given time I could find the coefficient of x to the n by calculating one set of terms instead of the other way where I have to do all of this, this and da, 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 da. so this is much easier. So the first thing that we want to do is we want to get everything in terms of x to the n. So I need to get this plus 2 down to a minus 2, so I have to subtract 2 from everything on the inside and add 2 to everything on the outside. So I have n equals 2 to infinity, a n minus 2, x to the n, like that, and then this guy is fine for the moment. You say, okay, great, well now I'll just add them together, but I can't, because this one has 2 to infinity terms, and this one has 0 to infinity terms. You're like, but they're still infinity terms. Yeah, but this is 2 less infinity terms. 
the, uh, the things don't start together. So if I combine them, how would I know? Do I start at n equals 2? Do I start at n equals 1? Do I start at n equals 0? Do I start at n equals pi? Who knows? So since I don't want to have to think that hard, the easiest thing is to simply make this second one start at 2. Now, this guy is beautiful as she is. He is? I forget. I always forget the genders of my equations. Now you might say, oh, I can make this go to 2 by subtracting 2. But then all of a sudden, this is no longer x to the n, it's now x to the n minus 2. So that's definitely not the way I want to go. So instead what I want to do is I want to pull out the n equals 0 term and the n equals 1 term. So let's pull out the n equals 0 term. I have b sub 0 times x to the 0 plus b sub, I was trying to be cool with my, my colors, plus b sub 1 times x to the first. And then the remaining terms I have now start at n equals 0 to infinity bn xn, like that. So I now have b naught, x to the naught is, or x to the 0 is 1, plus b1 x. Now I can add n equals 2 to infinity. I have coefficients in front of the xn term are a n minus 2 and b n. They both start at n equals 2. So that makes me happy. I can just say a sub n minus 2 plus b n x n. So now I have something whereby if I say, what is the coefficient in front of the x term? It's that. What is the coefficient in front of the x squared term? It'd be that with n equals 2 and so on and so forth. So this way I can pull the actual coefficients of the different powers out. So let me give you one more and you can play around with it just to make sure you know what you're doing. So here's a perfectly obnoxious problem. So your goal on this would be to rewrite this such that you have the same coefficient or you have the same xn term. You have terms grouped by their xn power and you have a summation. You may have stuff out front. Now you might be freaking out and saying, wait, but you have ans on both of them. That's perfectly fine. Don't freak out. Don't panic. That is 100% within the realm of possibility. So if you haven't already, pause the video, see how far you can get, and then come back and we'll see what you got. So to make all of these be equal, or have the x to the n power thingy going on, I have to subtract one here, which means I have to subtract one here and add one here. So I've got n equals 4 to infinity, 3a, n minus 1, x to the n. And for this guy, I have to add one, add one, add 1 and subtract 1. So I have n equals 0 to infinity, n plus 1, a n plus 1, and x to the n. So now I need to figure this out. To make the other thing equal to the 4, that means I need to go to the 0, the 1, the 2, and the 3. So I've got, this guy stays the same, but over here on the right, so when n is 0, I've got 0 plus 1, a to the 0 plus 1, x to the 0, that's the 0 term. And then I have 1 plus 1, a to the 1 plus 1, x to the 1, and that's the 1 term. And then I have 2 plus 1, a to the 2 plus 1, x to the 2, oh, sorry. I'm not getting those exponents zero. Oh, I'm just not labeling right. n equals zero, n equals one, n equals two, there we go. And three plus one, a to the three plus one, x cubed. And that's n equals three. And then I can add and say from then on, my summation starts at four to infinity, n plus one, a n plus one, x to the N. like that. Good? Good. Now, from that point, it's a simple, simple matter of combining like terms. So I've got a naught, 2a2x, 3a3x squared, 4a4x cubed, and then a summation is n goes from 4 to infinity, of 3a sub n minus 1 plus n plus 1 a, I know you can't see everything that I'm writing, 
or when I'm copying the phone. Try to make it prettier. Like that, okay? So now, if I want to know the coefficient for the x cubed term, I can pull it off. The x squared term, I can pull it off. The x to the n term, I can pull that off for any particular n that I want. So we're in pretty good shape, and this is a really important skill as you're looking to solve differential equations with power series.